What's up, Scrappy peeps? And welcome to part four of my Q&A series that I'm doing over the next few months while I'm not scrapping as much and adjusting to life with baby Toomey around. So, he's not born yet. He's still in here. He's still got a couple of weeks to left for cooking um, before he pops out, hopefully. <laughs> Stay in there for a little bit longer. Mummy needs to film a bit more. <laughs> um, but yes, so if you have any video of any videos, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments or wait until the last video in this series. Um, if you think you forget, if you think you'll forget it, let me know in the comments now and I'll go back to them when I'm done. But I might answer your question along the way. So stay tuned. Currently, I've got eight pages of questions. It's taken me three videos to get through one page. <laughs> we might be here for a while, but I'm going to try and make them quickie. I'm going to try and make them snappy and um, under 10 minutes. We'll see how that goes today. So, these are just general scrapbooking questions for now. And then in the next video, we'll move on to some supply specific questions. So, best and worst scrapbooking skill. Hmm. I'd say my best skill is that I'm quick. Um, I don't dilly dally. I don't think about things too often. So I, my motto is stick and plonk. So put the glue on, plonk it down. Put the glue on, plonk it down. So I feel like if I um and ah too much, my layouts don't get done and they take forever and I get bored with them and I get frustrated with myself and that's when my anxiety kicks in and I go, oh, but if I put it there, someone might not like it there and they might think it looks really silly. So I'm gonna move it here, but if I put it here, then another person might think it looks silly and the social phobia just kicks in and I won't scrap. So I think my, my best scrapbooking skill is that I'm quick and I have a freaking freaky measuring ability. Aaron always jokes that it's my superhero skill that I can look at something and measure it without or cut and cut it without measuring properly, just with my eyeballs. Um, but I can cut a piece of paper in a mean straight line like talking good straight i think that's part of being a teacher and spending years and years cutting up resources for my classroom as well so they're my two best skills measuring and time um my worst skill definitely is that i'm freaking lazy and i procrastinate a lot so i quite often will especially with photo printing hate photo printing <laughs> um sorry if you can hear all that noise there's some construction going on down the road i hope it's not picking it up but i will put off photo printing for so so long and then i won't get pages done and then i'm behind and it's just an endless cycle so i'd have to say procrastinating and just being lazy is my worst scrapbooking skill and I also sometimes I feel I feel bad if I just want to scrap without the camera on I know that sounds silly but I go oh this would have made a really good video but I don't feel I feel like getting my head into it and just scrapping on the couch or something um, so yeah they're my two worst qualities I'm gonna go shut the front door so that you don't hear this wood chopper man that's doing something outside my house the weird wood chipper is very loud. I've closed all the doors and windows, but you might still hear him. I swear the people in my street have this pact going that as soon as they hear the click of my camera turn on, it's time to make all the noise. Lawn mowing, whippersnippering, chopping down trees, mulching them. It always happens when I want to film. It's usually really quiet here, except when I film. Next question. How many hours per week do you spend just scrapbooking? Hmm. On, so at the moment, my health's been up and down and up and down and up and down with this pregnancy. I'd say on a good week when I'm not working full time anymore, um, I don't have a lot of things on. It's just a normal week and my health is okay and I'm feeling like I have some energy levels. 
I'd say I could easily scrapbook because I'm home alone as well. So I could easily scrapbook maybe like maybe like 15 hour, 15 to 18 hours a week maybe. Yeah, like a couple of days of five or six hours, I think. Um, but I do spend a lot of my other time on editing. Editing takes up, editing often takes up more time than actual scrapbooking. So I might, I can bust out a Project Life page in 15 minutes. But to edit that video, I have to, to edit that video might take an hour and a half plus uploading time so quite often I spend more time editing than I actually do creating which is frustrating but I find that if I if I blot it into days where I make all day and then in the afternoon when my brain's not working properly and I just can't think of creative ideas anymore um, I'll use that for editing time so yeah I could spend I could spend if I feel really good so this week I'm feeling okay. I've just gotten over a really bad man flu that Aaron gave me, which is great fun. Third trimester man, secondhand man flu. Oh, it's fabulous. So much fun. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> um, oh, you can hear it. I've still got a bit, I'm still a bit chesty, but I'm feeling good this week. So I think I'll be able to get probably about, probably about five hours, except for tomorrow, five hours a day scrapping maybe we'll see how we go um okay so mary asked about design teams so i my first design team was the scrappery um and i actually created my youtube channel so that i could apply for that design team um it's an australian kit club here and i what i do I applied for, was it just, I think it was just Project Life that I applied for, I think. Um, and they have their own YouTube channel, so I made a YouTube channel so I could show that I could do videos. Um, and I got accepted, which was really cool. And then I took, a, I didn't really put much on my channel for a while and because I couldn't put my videos that I did for them on my channel, I just put them on their channel. Um, and yeah, so that was in, I left them in January, no, yeah, January 2016. I think I was on the team for a, a year, maybe, possibly. Um, I have been knocked back from design teams as well. <laughs> um, Last year I applied for two different design teams and I got knocked back from both of them. Um, quite big design teams, you can probably guess <laughs> if you know a lot of kit clubs, um, two American ones. Um, I have been, maybe, I don't know if it's, oh, it should be out by the time this is out. So I got asked to be on a design team this year and I said yes. So, but I said I had to have a couple of months before, um, while with baby tombs to just, you know, figure out how to handle a baby, um, before I start there. So that was exciting. Um, but yes, yeah, so I just think when you apply for a design team, you just have to show a really wide variety of what you can do. So, um, and also think about their style as well um, I don't mean like in in teaching we don't teach the test and I don't want you to scrap to the test of what you think they like but if they're a design team that does 12 by 12 layouts submit some 12 by 12 layouts if they're a design team that do a lot of off the page stuff make one of your projects an off the page canvas or something in a traveler's notebook, make it a little bit different. Um, and I also try and try and make your layouts a bit memorable. So you might do a technique that's a bit more 
complex like stitching or a cut file or some mixed media try and do something in there that they can remember you by um how much time do you spend oh i just asked that i just answered that sorry um <laughs> i have to laugh at number three in this in mary's questions she said you and aaron always say it's not a baby after every we have some exciting news announcement this isn't a question but i must say i'm excited for a little rad if that's in your future that's how long i've been <laughs> avoiding doing these videos for so this was before you guys found out about baby tombs um and now he's out and about while you're watching this so whoopsies there was a little rad. there probably i think there might have actually been a little rad already growing in my tummy when i asked the q a video possibly if it was june he would have been growing um but yes i had to laugh at that one let's do one more so there's a lot of bits in this one so i'm gonna see if i can do them quickly Alrighty. um how do i motivate old and forgotten projects so i have a tub that has some old and forgotten projects the way i think to reignite the spark between you and the project is to um, maybe reorganize the supplies that you're using for it so put yourself together a little kit that has some new supplies in there because that will motivate you to actually use them specifically for that project uh, you might also maybe if it's something like a mini album so say you're doing a, a holiday mini album um, have a look on YouTube and just type in scrapbooking holiday album see what you come up with that might light some light some what that might ignite some enjoyment and in interest in the project again um, but I definitely think reorganize the supplies you use for it and add some new things that you've gotten they might not be new new to the market but they might be new to you so try and include those um how do i keep up with project life i don't <laughs> in all honesty i binge project life um so this week i'm finishing december 2016 i'm filming this in february um but i do i, I binge so i think that's how i keep up with project life i just do it in big bundles so i might spend two hours printing two months worth of photos or I might say, okay, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna try and do five pages, get this month done. Let's be honest, which month has ever had five pages from me? Um, <laughs> and I might just do it in big bingey lots, which isn't healthy for my scrapbooking, but it's life, it's what works and it's how I, it's how I do um do i use my planner or other calendars i have a lot of videos on my second channel let's get inky about what there's a video that went up in feb um about what planners and things i'm using there so you can have a look over there i'm currently using a uh passport size traveler's notebook as my planner um and a bullet journal as well how do i start using all my all-time favorite products good question choose your favorite photo that's what helps me so i if i have a photo that i really love i'm more likely to use a product that i really love and then the two just marry together and it just makes a beautiful i love it so much happiness pairing um how do i store things like ephemera and enamel dots i got lots and lots of videos on my craft room i've got a video on how i organize my ephemera as well so check out my playlists about i think there's a craft organization playlist for that um if i could create a collection i so much want to create a collection that would be so fun to do and i'm Aaron and I are working on some things at the moment so I'm not going to tell you what I'd include because I might I might do something but it, you'll have to wait a little while but I might do something um, which products are my holy glory Ooh, tiny word stickers tiny wood veneer thickers miss some watercolors 
doilies, ephemera packs, and puffy stickers. I love puffy stickers. Um, how do I organize my projects I'm actually working on? I won't let myself go to the next layout before I finish the other one. It's just, it's, I can't, I, if I start one and then start another one, the first one, it will never get done. So I, I, I try to keep myself to one thing at a time. And do I tidy my desk after every crafty session? I generally do, especially if I'm filming, I usually tidy up after every page unless I'm using the exact same supplies or the exact same kit. So I hope that, um, oh, thanks for the bunny hugs too. Um, I hope that answered some questions today. We've gone over time again. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the next one in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to have a little break and by the time I get back, I hope that person has finished mulching their trees because they're too noisy. But I will see you all in the next video. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and stay tuned for process videos every Wednesday and Sunday. There's a Poppins! Poppies, come here! She's investigating. Poppet, hello darling. Hello gorgeous girl. Hello. No bumpies? What? No, didn't want any of it. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna go snuggle the bunnies and I'll be back next time. Bye!